it was something you kind of grew up with, man. You, you saw that happening. You never scared of a pressure cooker or none of that. Sort of I never knew what I wanted to be, but I was sure that I didn't want to work in an office shop. Like, that was 100%. I stayed a lot with my grandmother in Bandra, and I grew up in Bandra with her. And she was very old, she was 70 when I was five or six, and uh, I used to help around with household work. Cooking was always there, but it was never something that I thought I would do for the rest of my life. I knew how to make tea by the age of five, and I knew how to make eggs by like around that same time. I joined hotel management at Rizvi College. For the first three years of my hotel management kind of thing, I, I was a baker. And then I joined the Leelas and I worked bakery for a month. And then post that they wanted guys in the Continental Kitchen. Continental Kitchen in Leelas at that time was, was badass. If you survive one day over there, you, su you survived. It was badass, man. Taught you a lot about respect for what you do. After that, it was just hot kitchen, man, and we had a really badass rat pack kind of group over there. Guys used to fucking drink till their livers could explode and come back to work the next day and then party. I, I don't remember if I had, like, I slept properly in those, those years. After Leela's happened, then Riaz met me and he was opening his first uh, restaurant. I was 24 that time when we opened Solvoda Pill. I was the youngest sous chef in the country probably that time I was running it. And then after that, I just opened a bunch of restaurants for years. So it was Mokal's Deli, Sabal Cafe, Station Room, Health with the Social Menu. And then I worked in Oris for two years because I wanted like a break. I came back, opened Sabal Cafe, then I needed another break. So then I went down to Noma, I was in Noma for three months. Uh, came back and then we opened the two projects and uh, that's what we do out here. This space is more about being experimental, uh, finding yourself as a chef. So the idea was to set up a type of cuisine that is Bombay and based on nostalgia. Uh, but it's also based on where you want to take your food and your cuisine and do you want to put India on the map as a as a country that just cooks Indian food or do you want to put India on the map and says, okay, these guys are doing some really experimental kind of stuff. Uh, it's also with music right now. And for me, my day is to make that perfect sound. It's not to make a track. Uh, so for me, my, my day is based on getting that, that flavor, that idea. Uh, and once you have an idea, then it's simple. It's not about having something that's delicious and after 15 years of cooking you you basically know how to cook and you know how to do things so cooking is not a problem it's 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 getting it's also understanding what you've done in the past kind of refurbishing it and taking it to the future so yeah that's what we're doing out here <laughs> hello my name is Prashant Fernandez I'm 34 years old 35 fuck I'm only 36 this year oh, shit